that we have here, and you see what's going on here. We are one of those places I believe that God is shining his light on right now. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to be fought, but I do believe that this is one of those places God said, I'm going to raise this thing up. I'm going to raise these people up because they are people who believe me. So I want you to go on a prayer diet. And I want us to come in agreement right now as we, as we pray for our vision. So if you, if you are close enough to somebody, I want you to just make contact. Just go somewhere and hold somebody. Get somebody to agree with you. We are, we are laboring. I, I, I am certainly laboring in prayer right at this point. I don't have a lot of answers to everything, but I have a lot of faith. Glory to God. And I'm saying to you right now that God is saying that prayer is your strongest weapon in your arsenal right now. But have a focused prayer. If you have to go home tonight, wake up tomorrow morning and write down those things that you need pray for. And you know, you know you're praying for your vision. You know the vision comes from God. So that's one place to start. Someone say amen. Amen. Let's come in agreement right now. You and I right now, we are standing in the presence of God. We have absolutely every right to be here because of Jesus. We know that if we have this confidence in him, that if we ask anything, he would hear us. So there's no doubt he's hearing us. If you agree, say amen. Amen. Holy Father, we stand in faith tonight before your presence. We stand as your children, Father, as citizens of your kingdom, and we stand believing. We thank you tonight, Father, for everything that you've given us in Jesus, and we receive the purity of your love. Father, tonight we come together and we come in agreement that we accept your love through Jesus and the value, Father, that you gave it. Even if we don't understand it, Father, tonight we agree to receive it by faith. We receive the fullness, the fullness of your love. We receive the fullness of salvation, the fullness of eternal life. We receive the fullness of the inheritance right now. We agree that we have it through Jesus. And Father, if we, if we yet understand it, not clearly, we receive it by faith. We know that through your love we have all things. We receive that by faith. Father, we receive the Holy Ghost. By faith. We receive the covenant by faith. We believe you, we trust you, and we receive it. If you agree, say amen. Amen. Righteous Father, tonight we come praying concerning a vision. Concerning your vision. Your vision for genuine love, Father. Your vision for our personal lives. Your vision for our families, Father. Your vision for our destinies, Father. We come praying tonight. We come before your throne asking. Father, believing that we receive through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we believe that we will receive from you direction and correction and instruction concerning our vision. Righteous Father, we are asking you, as we are told dependence upon Jesus, we are asking you in the name of Jesus, Father, that you release through your grace the vision for our future, the vision for us in the Spirit. Father, we pray that you make it clear, that we may write it, that everybody who come around us might know what it is that you're doing in general love and with general love. Father, I ask that you make it clear that all of our members, all of your children may know clearly what it is that you're doing in their lives, what you're doing with their families, Father, what you're doing with their destiny. Father, we cry out to you tonight in the name of Jesus, and we believe that we receive, through your grace, visions. And I will host you. I pray, Father, that every hand being held tonight, that clarity would come, Father, into their hearts, into their minds, that their understanding may be enlightened, Father, that they may know your love, that love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge. Father, I ask tonight in the name of Jesus that every heart in here would have an opportunity, Father, and the privilege to experience your love. Father, I cry out to you tonight, bless this your children. Father, do unto them according to your promise. Amen. Make them a, a showpiece and a mouthpiece. Amen. Let the world know, Father, that these are your children in spirit and in truth. Yes, I pray and ask you in the name of Jesus that your grace would abound towards genuine love. Yes. Father, I pray and ask that your love would continue to abound in and towards genuine love. Father, let love reign in every house, yes. between husband and wife, between yes. spouse, between partners, between mates, between um, children and parents, between every Father, let your love reign. Grant grace that your love would be the power of every home in this church. Father, let love reign and let love travel with them wherever they go. We believe, Father, and we receive your love. Father, we receive that harvest that you had promised in 2015. Let 2015 be the year of harvest for us according to your promise. 
Father, I pray right now to ask mm, in the name of Jesus that according to every man, according to his work and according to your promise, that the harvest will be begin to manifest according to your timing in the lives of everyone in genuine love. We believe you for it, Father, because you promised it, and we are persuaded that whatsoever you promise, you are also able to perform it. Holy Father, we stand in your presence humble before you. We acknowledge that without you we are nothing. I stand, Father, with this great company of your children and believers, and we acknowledge before you that without you we can do nothing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, Father. We receive him in his fullness of his ministry, his person, his principle, and his purpose. We receive the Holy Ghost, Father. God, we are your children. And we are before you tonight seeking your face, asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that great grace would abound towards us. Father, make the vision clear. Speak it to the hearts of your people. And Father, even if it's a vision for general love, let, the, let it be spoken clearly in their heart and let it be communicated that it could get to the right place, Father. We know that visions can be can come from you and we know they can be given to anybody. We receive that tonight, God. We come before you, Father, tonight as family. We come in unity asking you, righteous Father, we need you. We need your input. We need your guidance. We need your instruction. We need you, Father. Without you, we have nothing. And I'm coming praying tonight, saying unto you, on behalf of your children of general love, we need you. We need your love and we need your grace. And Father, we pray for those who are afflicted, those who are sick, those who are in bondage right now. We bring them before your presence tonight. I pray for this, your children of general love, Father, inclusive of all of us. Let every family, Father, experience your grace in Jesus' name. Let the breakthrough come. Let the harvest come, Father. In the name of Jesus. I declare that every hindrance is now bound. Yes. Father, I speak it from the office of your apostle. I bind the works of every hindrance. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus tonight over your children against every stronghold. I declare that the blood cleanses and removes every stronghold in our minds, in our spirits, in our hearts, every stronghold in our journey. I declare in the name of Jesus from the office of your apostle, Father, that every stronghold is broken right now by your grace, manifested through your love. Father, I renounce every work of divination. I renounce every work of lust, every work of deception. I renounce every work of hatred. I renounce secret plans, secret agendas. I renounce them right now in the name of Jesus. And I declare them to be canceled in the lives of your children and in this ministry. And God, we believe it is so strong who you really are in us. Father, we thank you for the promotion. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the change. Thank you, Father, for the restoration. I believe that we receive restoration. We receive this time that you will restore according to your promise. Father, right now on behalf of your children, I receive that restoration. I need everybody to agree. I we receive restoration. Say amen. amen. We receive that restoration, Father. Restoration with our children. Restoration with our loved ones. Restoration of our Restoration of our gifts, our talents. Restoration of our anointings, Father. That's been dead. Restoration of promises, Father. Glory to God. Restoration of harvest for the seed that has been planted. According to your promise, I declare right now, Father, thank you that every harvest is now being resurrected in the spirit and it shall fall upon us here in general love according to your promise. Father, we pray for restoration of those who've left uh, are not according to your plan. We pray that you restore them back to their place in general love, Father, that their life may go forth, that general love may go forth. Father, we call in restoration right now. Let the angels of restoration minister right now. Father, let the restoration be strong and quick and let it, let it be for the glory of Jesus. Jesus Christ, that we have no doubt that it was his doing. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We call it restoration right now. God, we love you and we thank you and we honor you. And as your apostle, I just stand clearing, declaring over your children a general love. Restoration will come to our families, to our homes, to the ministry. Father, I thank you that gifts are being resurrected, anointings are being resurrected. Faith is being resurrected in the lives of your children. Clarity, Father, is coming forth in our hearts and our spirits right now. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Give us grace to write the vision, Father, and to make it clear. And we will be careful. Out of my heart. We give you the glory. We'll be careful to give you all the praise. Now, Father, tonight by faith, 
I ask a special anointing on every hand being here. Father, I pray and ask you for a special grace tonight on every one of your children sitting here in general love tonight. I pray that, Father, what we are facing tonight and what we have to face tomorrow, I